but I saw a little goblin over here. Windmill. There's a bridge. That's the bridge I was thinking of. And there's a stable. Okay. Combat training, archery. This shrine purifies the ancient evil who have entered here. Heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Yes, yes. Hit him. Well done. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Proving your mastery, now proceed to the innermost chamber. Yeah, these are constructors. to be above. Don't 
strong construct bow. Rump. Sound weird. Why? 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 Know what I just did. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Tabaitin Bridge Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Woohoo, a board oh. available. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger. Then call me over. Now then, once again, oh. Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Please bl visit the inside counter if you want to lot want to lodge with us. Mm. Now, how can I help you? Oh. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. to register your wild horse is 20 rupees. Will that be all right? Yes. Oh. Since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point to your pony points. Well then, I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse. Green. Name registered. You want to take it with you or with you or board it? Of course. Oh. Station oh. process. Since you're here, would you like to equip your horse with a towing harness? It's fine. Well, that's all I can do for you. Thanks for using the stable, mm -hmm. pal. If you're riding on a road, your horse will just naturally follow the path as in sin's name. Travel by road if you want to leave the steering up to your steed and just enjoy the scenery. Aww. Massive cold snap is over and things have finally settled down around here. But there's no shortage of strange happenings these days. Please take care during your travels. Our employee, Banji, really knows this area, so don't be shy about asking for her help. But this is Banji. No? Ah, good evening. Er, no, good day. Uh, that's what I mean. Well, welcome to our stable. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm nervous. You're our first new customer in a while. You're a traveler, aren't you, mister? The stable is so far to the west that we don't get many new customers. So, did you come talk to me because you wanted to ask about the stable? See you. <laughs> yeah, see you. Talk to you anytime you need something, or even just because. What do we get this oh. time? Ah, yes. I'll be right there. Or r right with mm. you. 
You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. For five points, you get the horse god fabric. Tough fabric bearing a design of the horse god. Malana? Malana? And looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh. I hear the dye shop in Hatina Village has a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nakluda, you ought to stop by. I'm sure they can help put the fabric to use. If you save up just one more point, oh. you'll be able to use the Milana, Milana bed, which is said to be to bring prophecies from the horse god Milena. We appreciate your patronage. Oh. Welcome to the stable. You want to lodge with us? Regular bed. You to sleep. Use no. I don't want to use a ticket. I want to spend money. Oh. Oh. I want to hold on to the tickets. In case we have no money and need to sleep. When the glow of the blood well, stained moon a red shines moon. upon I'm... the land. Oh. Oh. Do you really have to say that? Hmm. Huh? Is there something bothering you, young man? Huh. Could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster, too? Reports say this is the picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Mm. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself has was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike all over the stable to find out if there was any truth to these rumors. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? Oh. Great fairy flees into flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby woodland stables is in a panic. Mm. Hmm. I'd heard a rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visiting travelers. I was going to head to Elden, the region in northeastern Hyrule, and see if it was true, but uh... I always read every word of these newspapers. Ah. Blood Moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers. On nights when a blood moon rises, so too do monsters that have been defeated. Hmm. That reminds me of that research who researcher who was studying the blood moon before. They were excited to visit a monster fort and see what they could learn about monsters in the blood moon. But they didn't seem all that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Uh... Mm -hmm. Strange to think that I can just sit right here and get an eye on the affairs of the whole world. Uh. I've always wondered how this reading material called a newspaper is made, and who makes it exactly. The big cold snap is over, so maybe I'll go visit the news bound news hounds at the Lucky Clover Gazette and see what I can learn. Um, I'm actually going to talk to the... What? Where the heck did she go? 
Oh, she is sleeping. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around here? I'd given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. And pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Oh. Yeah, Princess Zelda s shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she l knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. Mm. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cone in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day and blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. Mm. But what would have been my white goats spit up the Hylian pine cones and run off like that? Did they, did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? I don't think you made it right, dude. Hmm, hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of a half-eaten Hylian pine cone. Oh. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescap inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and war warbles for my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd or a trip or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. Hmm. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Prince of Zelda may also have been involved. It looks like you caught up with the stable hand, Chork, about what ha happened. Hmm. Chork says the bottle that he kept the rest... Princess Zelda's recipe in was blown off somewhere by the wind. As a result, the feed he's been giving to the his white goats is made was made from what he could remember of the recipe. I can't believe that Princess Zelda would teach anyone a nonsense recipe. That doesn't seem like her at all. It's important that we find these white goats, oh. but I think we should also find the recipe that might shine some light on what exactly Princess Zelda was up to. I'm going to poke around and see if I can turn up any other information. Oh. Partner, it's time for you to get to work. There's a big scope here. Big scoop here. I can feel it. Well, crap. <laughs> The wind blows this way. be a distance away or fairly close. Oh, I realized I was going to hit the blade.
think this is flat, so we might be okay. Maybe. Nope. Should have just taken the bridge. Wait a second. Oh, that's too high. Ultra Ball Hall check in. We are way off course. Band Springs. I don't know what that is exactly. Heart. Ain't easy making it here. Hey there, kid. Hard not to sleep in on a nice morning like this that must mean ya mean ya got a hankering for ultra ball hall am i right yeah. what with the blinks what's with the blink stare you never heard of a super popular habit forming ultra ball hall i guess that figures since i'm the only one who's ever played it thought it up all on my lonesome Ooh. the rules are simple Carry the ball as far as you, as you can before time runs out. It's up to you how you carry it. Put it on the cart. Lug it in your arms. Whatever works. Careful though. Lose that ball and you lose the game. But the further you take it, the better your reward. But make sure you hustle. Mm. So how about it? You want to give you know, the old Ultra Ball Hall a shot? Oh. That's the way. It'll cost you 20 rupees. Oh. All right, I'll get the ball. So just give me a holler when you're ready. Which way does the course go? These look like wheels. So there's four of those. like a steering wheel. Oh. Okay. So I still have to get left.
Did I just lose all my work? I mean, it wasn't great, but... Seriously. And they're not even giving them me back. My stuff. Let's do something different then. Kid, are you ready? Already. Now we're rolling. Okay. Get to your mark. Oh! Carry that ball like it's never been carried before. What? Time's up. You took the ball a grand total of 379.2 meters away. Amazing. You got the ball far. I knew you were special, kid. That was a ball haul for the ages. Now here, this is for you. 50 rupees. So we got it. You're pretty good, kid. It's so good that I'll let you try the extended course where you've got twice as much time to play. Give it a try sometime. I want to see what you can really do. Want to give it another go? Ooh. That's the way. I'll, it'll cost you 20 rupees, okay? Ah. Ooh.
Okay, this is either gonna get us further. I mean, I know we have more time. Or, just as likely, it's gonna take a, sh a shorter distance because we run out of battery. I thought we ran out of power way too fast. And them pants take a lot of power. It's not further, is it? No. It took the ball a grand total of 344.6 meters away. Mm. I knew you had it in it, but there's still a higher higher heights to shoot for and better records to set. But until you do, there's a little something from me. Here's a little something from me. We got our money back. Send it, of course. I want to do it again. I want to do it until we get further. I am actually put this over here. I'm gonna scrap this idea.
let's try it. Mm. Hey, kid, are you ready? Oh. All ready. Mm. Wait. Where the heck is my bird? Oh. Where the... Okay, maybe... not an issue in this one. Oh! You took that ball a grand total of 534.4 meters away. That's a new record. Oh! Wow. Now that's a score. You looking to go pro at this at this kid? That was a ball haul for the ages. Now here, this is for you. I got 50 rubies. That's it. You wanna give it another go? No, I don't. <laughs> 